Hey, this is Father Robert Ballister from, from Gadget at thetechstop.net. We're here again in the SANS Convention Center on day one of CES. We're at BitMicro Networks out of Fremont, California, and uh, we're talking about flash drives. Now, now, flash drives even a year ago were not very commonplace. In fact, they were kind of rare, but they're becoming much more, well, found in the wild in netbooks and notebooks as, as a low power uh, alternative to rotating media. But there is another segment of flash drives. There's the high performance, the, the super heavy duty, the industrial, the military type application for flash drives. And that's what uh, BitMicro Networks is trying to capture. I'm here with, uh, with Jay. Jay, do you want to tell us a little bit about what, what we have in front of us? Sure, we've got uh, solid state hard drives with all different kinds of form factors from fiber channel to SCSI, uh, anything that the industry really needs. Um, you know, we ship uh, to all kinds of customers, not just military, but uh, industrial, OEM, and uh, now starting into the consumer space. Yeah, I mean, most of the uh, the smaller drives, the, the ones that people are knowing, they know about, the one, the 2.5, the 1.8, they're, they're really designed to be sort of low-cost flash drives for, for your notebook. That's not the case with these. No, um, not necessarily, because uh, our product is actually designed more for the high end. Uh, a lot of the consumers uh, don't really need the speed that, that our drives uh, provide. What kind of speed are we talking about? Uh, we're looking at about 230, 250 megabytes per second, uh, 50,000 random IOPS, yeah. So in other words, I would need an entire array of rotating media to get the I, the I.O. equivalent of, of one of your products. Yeah, that's correct. Now, how do you do that? That, that that's, that's not attainable on the market from most of the major vendors. How do you get that kind of transfer? Well, uh, the company was founded in 95, and uh, we our, our core technology is our ASIC design. So we design our own ASIC, and that's how we, uh, we get the performance. So yeah, so you, make, you make your own chips, so you get that much better performance, because it's designed for this application. Exactly. You know, we have a complete control of the design, so we can actually push out and tweak as much performance out of it as, as possible. Now, capacity. What would be the highest capacity? I mean, I've seen flash drives up into 32, 64, even, I mean, I think they're announcing a, a, a one gigabyte SSD. How, how big do you get? Uh, our three and a half inch form factor can go up to 1.6 terabytes. Our two and a half inch laptop drives can go up to 400 megabytes. I'm sorry, did you say terabytes? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so, so they're getting up to gigabytes, you're at a terabyte and a half. Yes, that's correct. Okay, and how do you do that? Well, we have a, a patented uh, uh, algorithm that actually allows us to stack uh, the memory chips and the memory boards. Yeah, I, I noticed that. You've got, a, you've got an incredibly clean design. You've got the ASICs, ASICs on this side. You've got memory that's stacked on this side. I mean, theoretically, how, how big could you make your units? Uh, using MLC flash, we can actually go up to uh, 6.4 terabytes if needed. Uh, I imagine that probably wouldn't be all that cheap. I mean, let's say this 1.6 terabyte drive, which would, could replace an entire data center of rotating media. What kind of cost, what kind of price am I looking at? Uh, it all depends on you know on volume and and uh, and capacity, but uh, currently in the market, uh, flash drives are running probably about ten to twenty dollars per gigabyte. Yeah, well, I mean, this this is fantastic. I mean, obviously, I I'm not going to see this in laptops or desktops, uh, at least not for a while before they get up to this kind of performance. But it's great to know that there's someone out there who's who's pushing the limit of what these can do, and and, and uh, I hope you do well, uh, Jay. Thank you very much, good show, and uh, stay tuned for more CES coverage.